what's up everybody, I'm Avatage, and welcome to One Shot at Sinso. Squid, yes, not so octopus. <laughs> this is another game from the bag full of wrong by Robert D. Fearon slash Rob Remakes slash Retro Remakes. Check the description for links, all that kind of stuff. This is another one which is kind of an arcade shooter, I guess. And in this video, you'll see four different versions of it because there's four that at least as far as I'm aware, that you get in the bag full of wrong and they're all basically improvements upon each other and different kind of versions and kind of a sequel and that sort of thing. And it's nice that you can get all those different iterations, I guess, in the pack. So we're going to hit tab first for the menu. You can see we've got, you can see your bonus, there's glowy shiny effects. Nay, no effects. What? Get your glowy effects here. Yay, effects are going. Good. <laughs> you can change the player turning, spawn warning, advanced spawn warning, extra help to cope with random spawns, board type, arcade. So there's a few more options in this than the other ones. Practice mode means you won't die. That's why I came in here to check that. And once again, we've got the sense of humor that is part of this whole thing. And so, as you can see, this is kind of similar to DRM and kind of similar to War Twat to an extent as far as we're concerned because you shoot in the direction that you're traveling in so there's no it's not a twin stick or anything ah oh, I got spawned on <laughs> and it's kind of interesting I hadn't haven't really played many arena shmups that use that kind of firing system before I played these and it's not because it's uncommon I mean it, it, it's been done before for, sh for sure but um, it's not really a system I, I look for or would have said that I enjoy prior to really trying it and after I've played through these games a fair bit I actually don't mind it I quite like it it, it makes it a different style of gameplay to a twin stick and you know how I love my twin sticks. But, um... It makes it a lot more difficult as well, and a lot more challenging, I guess, because you don't have... independent control over where you're firing and where you're going. So you have to kind of, at times, not shoot at something so that you can actually get away from something else. Oh, goodness. Like that, I was too busy facing the wall trying to avoid stuff. <laughs> and the opposite's true as well, like... If you try and avoid something, or you try and shoot something, you're going to have to go towards it. So it adds a kind of... A different kind of challenge, I guess, to a twin stick, because... Most twin sticks, you can still just kind of... Stay away from the enemies and shoot them from afar, because you can just aim straight at them. But, um... No, th this one and these, this style of games... And the other ones in the bag full of wrong, which follow the same sort of idea... Uh, not like that at all. You have you can only shoot ahead of yourself. So, but anyway, I'm going to stop this right here, and we're going to switch over to the next one in this kind of series. Okay, so that was Sinso Prototype. This is Sinso Championship Edition. We have a similar thing as far as the effect the uh, watch McCullough is concerned. Yay. Are you mental? Let's try Are you mental for glowy effects. Same sort of options here. Board type. Open arena. Open arena. We had arena before, so let's try open this time. Scan lines. Effect debut. Only visible with effects on. Sure, let's put it on. Let's put all this up. We don't want practice because that'll just make it weird. This is nice. You get this full screen kind of ratio. I'm going to leave it where it is because... I don't want to mess up the video. You can hard lock the FPS. That's just normal, so I'll stick with that. We'll do that and we'll begin. So as you can see, this is the basically the exact same game as we were playing before, except this is Championship Edition instead of Prototype. So it looks a whole lot better and it even plays a bit smoother as well. It's not quite as pixely, it's got all these lovely glowy effects and stuff, and 
all these effects and everything. This is why I love this bag full of wrong, because it's so just gorgeous to to look at and play all these games. It's the same reason I like any other game with, with these sorts of effects. It's kind of like, I always see it as a bit of, it's kind of like modern retro. <laughs> as in, there's definitely a throwback to retro games and to older games and the kind of graphics and stuff that they had and the colors and all that kind of thing. But all these effects and stuff are pretty much modern effects, or at least they feel like they're modern effects. I don't know specifically because I'm not a game developer, <laughs> but I feel like these sorts of really glowy kind of lots of lights and all that kind of thing, I feel like they're much more modern day effects than they are old effects. You know what I mean? Good. Because I barely do. <laughs> oh, so close. But that's what I like about it. It's kind of retro without being retro, if you know what I mean. Like, it's not just using old school graphics for the sake of it. It's kind of doing a bit of a meld to come up with something that's just gorgeous. <laughs> and so, yeah, this is a the Championship Edition. There's two more versions of this game that I'm going to play. And we'll hop over to that in a sec once I've finished this life. I'm not actually doing too bad. Oh, oh. Once again, the shooting style kind of pops up its ugly head, because if you spend too long avoiding, you're not going to actually kill anything, and then there's more stuff to avoid, and you actually need to fly around shooting stuff, not just avoiding stuff. Oop, easy. I'm not doing too bad, actually. Wow, I'm actually quite impressed with myself here. <laughs> I mean, look at the colours, isn't it just beautiful? And that's essentially what I really like about all these games, is they've just got so much style. Oh, oh, easy. Oh. Alright, son. No, avoid them. Turn around and get them. There we go. Wow. Big explosions there. <laughs> we do have all the effects turned on. It's kind of nice that you can turn them off though, I have to say. I always appreciate those sorts of options. I'm generally not the guy who does turn them off. I generally leave it on like full. <laughs> um, but I like that there's the option there for people who, who want to tone it down a little and maybe don't like all the big flashy kind of things. But that's it for Championship Edition. Let's jump over to Squid Harder. Okay, this is Squid Harder. As you can see, it's still Sinso, but this is a kind of different version. We've got world rankings and stuff here now as well, and all that kind of thing. Let's hit number one to show menu. Yep. Effects, my eyes. <laughs> Let's keep the effects on, I love it. Motion blur on or off. I don't mind motion, motion blur. Have some tight turning. Background images on. Oh, close captions. Interesting. Are they on or off? No closed captions. Well, let's leave them on. Full screen, auto fires off. Edge grinders are on. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. Let's give it a go. Now this one you select world 1, 2, or 3, or 4 by flying into it. But as you can see here, this is my dude. And it's, again, a very similar sort of game. But just expanded. Hence why it's called Squid Harder. And we are taking a frame rate dip again. <laughs> That's the problem with trying to film these things with all the effects and everything. You end up having a bit of a spaz out with the with the frame rate. So I do apologize for that. Oh, Squid Again has occurred. Yeah, squid harder. <laughs> Let's go into world four, just for the hell of it. And to get through each world, you have to basically survive for longer in each one. To advance, basically, to, to complete it, I guess, and get a high score and do all that kind of stuff. Wow, this really is tanking my frame rate. 
It's funny because sometimes you don't really notice how much Fraps will tank something until it does, because this game actually plays very, very smoothly. Let's change some effects. Let's see what it looks like with low, just for the hell of it. Let's turn off the motion blur, turn off the closed captions. What if I just go in here? Cool. Let's see if it does anything different. Let's go straight into world two. How about that? And I died straight away. <laughs> oh, I hit the guy on the corner. Wow. Okay, so you can see we've got much fewer effects going on at the moment. Not so glowy and all that kind of thing. Although it still looks pretty nice, I have to say. And I don't seem to be taking as much of a hit with the old frame rate. So this might be a better representation of how smooth this game can be. It might be a bit better than my previous attempt. Where Fraps just kind of spazzed out. And I kind of spazzed out there for a second. I didn't really know where I was on the screen. That does happen every now and then with this game. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm not doing too bad, though, I've got to say. Well, I feel like I'm not doing too bad. And then I do something like that. I haven't even survived a minute, and you need to survive a minute just to get past the first level. But anyway, for now, let's jump out of this and go from Squid Harder to Squid Hardest. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is Sinso Squid Hardest. This is the last one of the four. <laughs> Let's check out the options again just to make sure. Let's turn these down again so that we don't get any crazy kind of frame rate drops, or at least hopefully we won't. Cool. And as you can see again, this is a basically another development on the previous one. So it's the same setup, it's just a whole lot of difference, as in improvements, really, I think. Because it looks a whole lot nicer, and it's basically the... Well, it's, it's Squid Hardest. <laughs> but like I said in another video, I think, um, or maybe it was earlier in this video, <laughs> I can't remember these days, I read, remember reading somewhere that there was essentially a version done for different platforms. So, you know, there's a PC version, there's an Xbox version, that kind of thing. Because, as far as I can tell, the dev, the dev kind of works on it constantly, or... Not, not constantly, like, I'm sure they have a life, but constantly as in they're still developing it anyway. Like, I think DRM especially, the first one that I did a one-shot of, I think that one is definitely still being worked on. But, as always, don't quote me on it, because I'm not 100% certain on that. I'm just kind of trying to remember what I have read previously. <laughs> oh! I'm not doing too bad, though, actually. This is going quite well. I mean, this game still looks incredible, as far as I'm concerned. I really like this kind of modern retro art style that isn't just leaning on, you know, 8-bit graphics or whatever. <laughs> Gee, I'm doing alright. Ah, oh, of course, as soon as I say that. <laughs> but I think that's enough for this video. I think we've gone on long enough. And we've seen four different versions of Sinso. <laughs> I'm just calling it Sinso, so that'll have to do. Um, so yeah, I mean, part of the bag full of wrong, you get a whole bunch of different games there. They actually, those four actually feel a little bit different to play, so they're kind of worth checking out each one, because it's not as simple as saying, oh, this is just a carbon copy of the previous one. They, d they have been tweaked a little bit, so they do feel kind of different, and yeah, you, you'll have a different experience playing each one. I mean, obviously, like in this one, I did a lot better than I have in the previous ones while doing this video. So, that's a little bit different. So yeah, Squid no, wait, Squid Yes Not So Octopus by Retro Remakes. <laughs> Check out the description of this video for links to the bag full of wrong and the dev and whatever else I can find that I think will be useful and interesting. Do check it out. Very, very cheap for the whole package. You get a whole bunch of games. And you're supporting someone who has a good kind of vibe coming off them, as far as I can tell. 
<laughs> Sounds a bit gross, doesn't it? Ooh, you got a good vibe coming off you. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching my one shot at Sinso portion of the bag full of wrong. It's such a thrill to be able to share this with you. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.